just your identity that your team showed with all the hits, blocking shots, and especially those two big penalty kills? Yeah, I know those are exactly what uh, I think some of our strengths are. And, you know, we're not a, we're not a, I wouldn't say a light, we're not a, really a light team. So um, we want to make sure that we're, we put pucks in deep. We have to grind it out a little bit. Um, I, I thought we did that. Our penalty kill, we, you know, they, their power play had us in their, uh, in our end for two minutes and then we just, they found a way and we got a big save or, or guys got in the, in the lanes. I thought uh, the one uh, power play they had for two minutes, uh, you know, early in the, uh, in the first period, I think a guy like Scott Mayfield probably had three or four blocks in that and our fours hung in there. So you need that in playoffs. That's what, that's really what it's about. You also need guys to step up. You talk about the way Pajot and uh, Palm stepped up today. Yeah, I did. Uh, I, I knew that they would. That was one of the reasons that, uh, you know, you look at the two trade de- deadline acquisitions uh, last year, Pajot and, and uh, this year, Paul Mary is, they are veteran guys that are proven, and they usually, when it comes to playoff hockey, you know, the big moments, those guys that you you rely on their experience, their their character are, is exceptional, and uh, you know I'm I'm really glad for for Palms. Uh, you know, I know he probably put a little undue pressure during the regular season when he when he joined us, but uh, you know we knew that uh, when the games got tight and you got to go to the dirty areas. Uh, a guy like him is capable of, of producing, and he was able to do that tonight. Ken Williams, Fox 5. Uh, Jen, you're on mute. Um, Barry, what can you say about the play of Sorokin keeping you in this game, and how impressed were you with his first playoff game? Uh, I was really impressed. I thought, uh, obviously, he made a couple of huge saves. He made a, uh, a toe save on uh, on Sid on the power play the, the one time, and I thought he was really sharp uh, on a – on a power play late in the, in the second period, we had to get through that two one game. If we don't kill that, that, that power play off, I, I think we're probably not sitting here as, as, uh, as uh, winning the first game where that'd have been a tough hill climb against a very good hockey team. Andrew gross news day. Hey Barry, um, was it just you know abundance of precaution uh, keeping Varley from dressing today, or, or where are you with him? Yeah, no, he. We had to make a decision really last night. Uh, you know, he's skated. Uh, you know, both days he's going to practice tomorrow as well. And you know, uh, we just thought you know long term, let's make sure we take. We, that's one thing that we think we have is two capable goalies, and if we want to have any success, we're going to need both of them. And so we just said, you know what, let's sort of do what's right. Let's not uh, risk anything here. Uh, let's be cautious. We'll give him another day of, uh, of practice, and then uh, he, he'll, uh, he'll be 100%. Good, Andrew. And just uh, how were you feeling about the team's game through two periods? And, and, you know, going into that third period, obviously it seemed like they found a different gear there. Well, I thought, uh, you know, Pittsburgh's an extremely good uh, team. You know, they jump on you quick. They're a quick start team. Uh, I thought we got it stabilized. Uh, and we got the goal, um, you know, in the first. And then the, the really probably I think about first six minutes of the second period, I really didn't like. We were we were just turning pucks over. We were making slower decisions. Um, and, and they capitalized on that. And then about halfway through the period, I thought we finished real strong there uh, and, and sort of was get we were starting to get the momentum going. And I, and I felt pretty good uh, getting through that period only down two uh, one. And I felt that, uh, you know, if we continue with that, I, I know we're a pretty good third period team uh, that we could get this uh, get this tied up. And I, we had a chance to to win it. We gave up a, a goal right after we scored. But uh yeah, at the same time, this is a this is a great experience uh, for everybody involved. Uh, over time, uh, having the fans back, those type of things that we missed uh, in the bubble last year. So, all that being said, it's uh, it's game one. Uh, we were able to get it done, and we'll part, put in the in the rearview mirror, mirror right now and uh, and uh, see if we can be better for the next game. Arthur Stable, the athletic. All right, you think your guys were given a little too much space to Crosby, maybe those first 20, 30 minutes, and it seemed like you, you were able to kind of close that out maybe just by having the puck more in the third period and in overtime. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Uh, you know, Sid's, uh, you, you know what I think of Sid. Sid is the gold standard, and 
uh, I was trying to trying to you know get take away his time and space, which you always want to do with that. But he he's such a dynamic player, and that's a that's a very good hockey uh, hockey team. But that line in particular is very very good, and uh, they came out flying, and he, that's why he's been the captain, and they've had lots of success. So. Um, you know, we respect what he can do, but we've got to we've got to make sure that we limit his uh, his ability to do some of those things.